Hey, good morning. We are in the Volt today. I was going to do a little experiment and show you how the Volt recharges itself as you come downhill. Uh, as you all know, who's watched my videos in the past, you know that I live next to Mount Lemmon. It's about 26 miles up to the top, uh, around 9,000 feet up there. Here at my house, I think we're at about 3,000, maybe 2,800. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go up, but I'll go up to probably Windy Point, which is a little over 13 miles. I'll show you how much of the electric charge that we've used and then I'll show you again when we get down to the bottom uh, to see if it's recharged itself and how much so should be interesting let's get started from mile post zero up to windy point it's a five percent average grade and you gain 3,685 feet of elevation Here's a quick look at the screen 5.9 miles used down to an estimated EV range of 41 and we haven't even gone up the mountain very far at all. We're not even to mile four yet. So it definitely sucks the EV range when you're going uphill. This car does have, I don't know, I know I haven't done a video on the modes yet, but it has a mountain mode, which basically preserves some of the battery power to give you an extra boost when you're going uphill. Um, obviously, if you're just relying on the gas motor it's the horsepower is like 104 or something so it saves battery for steep grades is essentially what the point of that is so here we are at mile seven We've got an estimated of 28 mile range left. You can see what we've used so far. So again, the battery definitely gets taken down quickly as you climb the mountain. So we are 13.7 miles from my house. We've been going uphill for maybe getting real close to 11 miles now. And you can see we have 19 miles of range estimated range left on the on the car there so we've used you know 39 40 miles of range of estimated range and just 14 miles when i arrived at windy point i had 13 miles of ev range left so that means i used 42.1 miles of ev power to go 16.9 miles total and 13.9 miles up a 5% grade. Pretty crazy. What happens next though is really cool how the car recharges itself. I put the car in low and just drove down normally. Heading down from Windy Point, we're at 13 miles of EV range estimated and 16.9 miles total used. Let's see how we do on the way home. The car started adding miles back in pretty quickly in just two and a half miles. We already had gained two miles and it just keeps getting better and better from there. Just past mile eight, and we're at 22 miles of range now. So we've gained uh, from 13 to 22. We are approaching mile zero, 44 miles of charge up from 13. We've gone a total of 30.7 miles since we left my house. And mile zero is essentially right here. And we just hit 45. So that's pretty darn cool. All right guys, so thanks for watching. That was a pretty fun little test to do. Obviously there's some limitations to the Volt when it comes to going uphill. Um, it's a 26 mile road and I never would have made it all the way up on purely electric power. Not a big deal because you have the motor to act as a generator to give you plenty of range and that's one of the beautiful things about the Volt as well is no range anxiety. Um, super cool though that you can get that much mileage back just from driving down the mountain normally. Um, instead of braking I just take my foot off the gas since I'm in low and it just regeneratively brakes all the way down. It's really really cool. Um, there's a very similar problem when it comes to highway driving as well and that's why I use the hold mode on the highway because if you were to drive in EV mode 
on the highway, you're gonna burn through your mileage super quick. And one of these days I'll do a test on that as well, just to see it. But going 75 miles an hour on the freeway, you just rip through your mileage. So anyway, hope that was interesting to you. If you have any more questions about the Volt, please uh, let me know. And one of these days I'll get to that video on the modes. All right, guys, thank you so much. Check out the other videos. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.